Hey everybody, welcome to my review for AirBuddy, a really cool app that helps recreate the iOS AirPod experience on your Mac. I was reading about this app the other day on 9to5Mac and thought it looked really cool, so I wanted to share it with my audience. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use the app, plus some of the cool bonus features it comes with, so stay tuned. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the app. I'll leave a link to the app's website in the description below. The recommended purchase price is at least $5 US. However, you can offer more if possible. I would recommend offering more if you're in a situation where you can, as I'm sure this app took quite some time to create. Once you've downloaded the app, you can simply unzip the app and run it. It will install on first run. I would recommend moving the app to your Applications folder so you can easily access the settings at any time. To do this, simply drag it from the downloaded location to the Apps folder. When you run AirBuddy, you'll notice the settings are pretty simple. You can choose to enable for both AirPods and any other W1 headphones, such as Beats Solo 3s or Powerbeats 3s. And you can choose where the battery indicator pop-up appears on your screen. Left, right, or center. I prefer the center, but it's nice that you can choose to put it wherever you like. To check the battery level on your AirPods at any time, just put them beside your Mac and open the case. And just like any iOS device, the pop-up will report the battery status for both the case and the AirPods themselves. I tested this with my Beats Solo 3s as well, and it worked like a charm. I think it's really cool. It also comes with a great notification center widget. To add the widget, just go to your Mac's notification center, choose the Today view, and then click Edit at the bottom. Now, you can just press the green plus beside the batteries widget, and it will be added. Once added, it not only reports the battery life of your AirPods, or other W1 headphones, it also reports the battery life of your Mac, with an estimated time remaining. I love this feature, and have been really missing that since Apple removed it from the battery indicator. This feature alone, combined with the ease of use, is worth the money to me to start with. Also as a bonus feature, when both your Mac and trusted iOS devices, such as your iPhone or iPad, are on the same Wi-Fi network, the battery widget will report the battery level of your device. I think it's so cool you can check the battery level of your iPhone on your Mac. AirBuddy not only improves the AirPod experience on your Mac by recreating the iOS features, but also brings some great notification sender extras like showing the time remaining on your Mac's battery, and even the battery level of your iPhone. I think it's worth the minimum $5 US asking price, and would recommend offering more if possible. What do you think of AirBuddy for Mac? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.